And we're taking a look at earlier today, a little bit of rain going on. We saw that rain falls throughout parts of northwest Arkansas, and we're actually hearing it now on top of the studio here in Rogers. So let's bring in 4029 meteorologist Robert Sir. And Robert, that rain just kind of continuing throughout the day? You know, if it's going to be this chilly and miserable and rainy, just let it snow. Yeah, That's what I say. Give just us some fun. You know, make it nice and pretty outside instead of this miserableness that we're dealing with. Uh, and we will continue to deal with tonight and tomorrow and tomorrow night and maybe Tuesday morning. Uh, we're stuck in this pattern, but it's not going to last for long. So look at that Thanksgiving spread. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, many of you will be able to enjoy that on Thursday, but we got to get through this wet and miserable weather first, especially tomorrow will most likely be the wettest day of the week. Uh, but drier and cooler weather does make its way back by the middle part of the week, as many of you will be traveling. Uh, to or from the area and then Thanksgiving weekend is looking very great uh, weekend. I'm classifying as from Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday as of right now looking pretty good. There's a look at the radar and you can see those showers of varying intensity kind of coming and going uh, about to move back into the Fort Smith and Van Buren area raining toward Arcoma right now. Moffitt seeing some rainfall and then up the I-49 corridor into Washington County raining in Fayetteville. And as uh, Jacob mentioned, uh, raining here in Rogers, at least at the station, you can see wet roadways here in Fayetteville as we look toward uh, 71B making its way toward the Fulbright Expressway. Uh, temperatures right now in Northwest Arkansas right around 50 degrees, give or take a degree or two of that. Uh, it looks not as intense with the rainfall uh, in the River Valley as we look out over Interstate 540, but uh, the roads are a little bit on the damp side uh, with temperatures 50s and a few 60s. Uh, where it hasn't rained too much today, allowing temperatures to warm up just a little bit. As we go through the rest of the night, we'll continue to see some of those uh, rain showers coming and going. Now, as this warm front gets closer to the area tomorrow morning, it's going to provide us with a little bit more lift, a little bit more instability, and that's the best chance, I think. If we're going to see some thunderstorms that get a little on the frisky side, maybe marginally severe, I think tomorrow morning from about sunrise through about 10 or 11 a.m., that's the best time for it, and that's probably when we'll see our best period of straight moderate to heavy rain. But by the afternoon and evening as you're headed home from work, it looks like most of the rain should be finally shutting off. That system pulls away and we're just left with clouds uh, by the time we get toward Tuesday morning. About 75% of the area under a marginal risk for an isolated severe storm tomorrow. Uh, maybe a little bit of pea sized hail and some gusty winds. I think that's the, the main threat that we could see. Uh, but they've really, uh, Weather Prediction Center has really bumped up rainfall totals, especially for Northwest Arkansas. Over an inch now, looks likely, uh, when all is said and done. Lows tonight in the 40s, so about seasonal for the most part, maybe a little above average. 50s and 60s for our highs tomorrow. And there's a look at the extended forecast. Crummy to start the week but it looks great and we are watching a big cool down by the time we get to next weekend that yeah, you're seeing that correctly. We might have a couple of snowflakes or flurries early Sunday morning of next weekend. Uh, nothing to get it panicking over. Just a couple of flakes in the air. Same thing. River Valley looks great. No problems for Turkey Day outside of a, a stray shower at night. Black Friday also looking good. Cameron Johnson's coming back. She had huge news to start off the show. We'll see if she can top that in sports coming up.